every time I step onto that boat, it's about conducting yourself and saying, I have total belief in myself and I will inject that into my crew as well. You can anticipate what the other one is doing because you've lived and breathed and done everything together with them and forging that bond. Zeta Martel has been called everything from the queen of the longboats to the witch on the water, none of which has stopped her from becoming one of Samoa's most iconic faces. As the champion of Faltasi racing and as the only woman to ever dare compete in this traditionally male sport. And she's won time and time again, famously doing the impossible and beating the faster fiberglass boats from American Samoa. Oh my God! When I told my mother that I have been blessed as a skipper in, in our church, thinking that she was going to just tell me off, and all she says, well, if you're going to do it, then do it well, because you are a boat person yourself. You're from Ali Bata. <laughs> yeah, be brave. <laughs> there is so much talk when I got into the sport saying it's, this is a traditional sport for men, and it's not my place. I've got no business being in there. I suppose I, I, uh, I bring the thrill to the race, um, to Faltasi racing. Um, OK, so is the woman going to be beaten this year? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But once again, in the year of Samoa's 50th independence, she wasn't to be beaten, bringing home gold with her newly designed Sengabao boat on this, her own golden year. <laughs> Turning 50 was an occasion marked with a malu, tattooed as an example of Samoan culture at the Expo Pavilion in China, alongside another golden win, this time in archery at the South Pacific Games, a sport she first took up in 2006. I had two months to train in archery, and I was not going to be one of the athletes that didn't have a medal in my home ground. <laughs> I came home and I went and saw Suluape. I said, Suluape, I would like to have a tattoo that recorded my gold medal and my 50th year. You know, it's, it's in the shape of a, the archery bow and all the symbols on it are about strength and about family and about love and about connections. And it's the strength that she's passed on to her young crew. Students from Don Bosco College, mostly from the rural areas of Samoa, who have been shaped into Faltasi champions. I know why I'm successful with the, it's that the balance that I bring in being a mother and leading them in a direction, but doing it in a very affectionate way. If you can't show love or affection to your brother, how can you connect with each other? There's 45 rowers on the boat. It's all about teamwork. And if you're not going together as one, if you don't have that bond, if you don't have the connection, we're not going to make it. If you have to express, say, that you really like what he's doing, just come out and say it. Don't hold it back in. Because it's in the expression of it that you make the connection as a team. Because you're sharing what you, how you feel about things openly. After 12 years of doing this with them, and we've been winning races, like, you know, and it's, it's that. got this really strong um, build, you know, as Polynesians. And when you put them into training, they get fit really, really quickly. But it's the mental fitness and it's that psychology that you have to work on. Off the water, Zeta's life has taken her down many paths. As a journalist for Radio New Zealand, a windsurfer in the Caribbean, the French consulate to Samoa, and the owner of a successful tourism business, as well as being mother to her four boys at home, the home that she and husband Francois designed themselves, an architectural feat that is as unconventional as its owner. 
We had lived overseas for quite a while, in the Caribbean and in Europe and Roma, with these beautiful climate, but yet we lived in these houses that needed air conditioning, and we didn't want closed up home. So we came back and we, we designed it for a whole year, sitting on the land, knowing where the winds were coming from. The whole concept of the home is the Samoan Fale, but modernized Samoan home which is completely open, doesn't have very many doors, but also has its areas of privacy. I am not going to have a home that has glass in it so that the kids are not free to explore. I think Samoa has got this brilliance of colors. You know, I love it. The wacky combination of bright yellow or bright pink homes and just amazing profusion of, of vibrant colors in our landscapes, not only in, our, in the color of our houses, but also the plants. We've never been robbed. We don't have a fence around our property. The European style homes that are next door to us have all been robbed, except our home. It's that reverse psychology. If, if it's completely open, there can't be anything valuable in a, in a home that is completely open. Oh, I can't rob that home because everybody can see me walk in and out of the house. <laughs> the home is not just about you. And that was the picture that I always taught my crew. It's not just about you. It's not just about you and an oar and a boat. It's about you and the sacred vessel, which our ancestors called a sa, because it's your connection to the land. You get onto that boat, that piece of wood is that tree that was on the land that connects you to that ocean that our ancestors discovered. So a sa is sacred. What you do on it is sacred. And that has been my philosophy with the crew and, and also with whatever I do. I'm somebody that loves the sport and can do it uh, whether I'm a woman or a guy. It's s such a beautiful sport. I think I have done something um, really well and I intend to pass it on for the next 50 years because my grandfather lived to 106, <laughs> so I've got to live to 106. <laughs>